Hi, it's been so long since my last video but I'm finally back and I am back to bullet journaling, posting on Instagram and hopefully back to doing YouTube videos. I have a few ideas ready and um, I hope that you guys really like the new ideas that I have. Today I'm just going to be doing my May monthly spread so I hope that you enjoy doing it with me. I'm going to need to apologise for any audio or video issues in this video. I recorded this on my camera on selfie mode and also I'm recording audio via some Apple headphones that I found. It's really not great but um, that's all I have right now so thank you for bearing with me during this. This monthly spread is going to be Winnie the Pooh themed. It's um, inspired by a spread that I did back in February that was also Winnie the Pooh themed and I thought that I would on camera um, redo the theme and maybe think about more ideas I could play around with. I'm thinking that this whole month I might make it Disney, Winnie the Pooh themed, um, just to see how comfortable I am with drawing characters and just um, making fun spreads. All the materials and pens that I'm using are going to be in the description box down below as per usual, but here I'm using a Pentel Touch Pen to outline my letters for May. I definitely think that outlining it this way gives it a bit more character, makes it a bit more bold in comparison to just using um, a gel pen like I usually do. After I outline with my brush pen, I then go in with a grey mild liner to add some shadows to my letters to make them stand out more on my page. If you don't have mild liners, I would definitely recommend getting them. They're my number one tool for colouring in journals because they're very casual, they're not super expensive, and they're a lot better than normal felt tip pens that you can get on the market. I'm going to go in and add a calendar for me so I can see an overview of how many days there are, when important things are happening and also just how much time I have to do the things that I'm planning to do. I'm going to list a bunch of important events with my yellow mild liner here and these events are basically just my final exams. Um, that's the most important thing going on for me during May. It's my very final exam for my very last semester of university before I graduate. Um, I would be more excited but I'm also quite terrified. Um, I don't actually even have an exam timetable yet so I can't put in any of the dates. I'll probably add them in later into the yellow dots that I've made. I currently have about five exams to prepare for 
for my final semester and I found it so hard to concentrate. I don't know about you but online classes are absolutely terrible. I didn't really mind them when they were used to catch up when I couldn't get to the lecture but now it's so hard to motivate myself um, to actually learn the material. I also had so many weeks of strikes right before um, uh, the lockdown happened and my university went online so some modules I basically felt like I had to teach myself and it's just been absolutely terrible. Um, tell me how it's been for you, I really want to see how other people are feeling about studying at home and how you motivate yourself. So in order to fill in that space underneath my calendar, I decided to quickly, or actually very slowly, <laughs> sketch Winnie the Pooh um, in pencil before I go over it in ink and colour it in. So I'm going over the sketch with a black gel pen, but it has to dry before I can actually do anything to the drawing. So I decide to go into the gaps in the rest of the page and fill it in with um, pots of honey. I'm going to sketch all of my ideas down first for the honey pot and then I'm going to go over the same process where I'm going to um, ink them, erase the pencil and then colour them in which is actually what I'm going to be doing for the Winnie the Pooh as well. It's always a good idea to fill up any um, awkward empty spaces, you know those spaces that haven't really been filled up by your pictures but they're also way too small to really add anything useful to them so I generally just think of um, little things that I can add like sparkles or in this case bees and here I am erasing the pencil um, off the Winnie the Pooh because I think the ink is now dry and it's probably best to erase the pencil because once I start colouring it in the pencil marks in the background will stay there and they'll be really visible. I don't know if you noticed but um, in this section where I'm colouring in Winnie the Pooh I actually do this wrong because I basically colour over all the ink which probably hasn't dried properly and it basically smudges all the black ink everywhere and I am still annoyed by that because I can see it every time I open my journal. I realised that I don't have a um, red felt tip or mild liner for this section so please bear with me whilst I try to colour this in with a red biro that I usually use to mark my homework but here it is being used for this Winnie the Pooh. I really didn't think this through because this section of his shirt is so big and I basically had to do so many cross hatches to um, make the colour look solid. <laughs>
I'm going to do exactly the same thing that I did with Winnie the Pooh and I'm going to colour in my honey pots in various different colours. These are colour schemes that I found from Google Images um, where I searched up honey pots from Winnie the Pooh. So the next two pages are also part of my monthly spread in the sense that these are pages that I will go back to almost every day for the rest of the month um, to log new tasks or to tick off tasks that I have to do. I'm in the process of reopening my sticker shop which will be um, around in June after my exams end so basically I have loads of tasks to finish in order to get that done. So on this page I'm going to do exactly that and it's labelled May Tasks. I'm going to write down everything that I think I should be getting done this month and hopefully I'll keep using it, I'll keep coming back and taking things off and if not then I'll just move everything on to June. This monthly page isn't something that's set in stone, you can definitely change it around, leave some extra space, maybe make up the tasks as you go. Um, this way you don't necessarily need to complete a very big task in one day, you can use a lot more time to complete one large task so that you feel a lot less stressed. This page is a May milestones page which I'm putting in my bullet journal for the first time in order to make note of anything that I might achieve or any milestones that I've reached during the month of May. 
I've been wanting to do this for a really long time and I finally got around to doing it. I think it's a really great way of um, reminding yourself what you've achieved instead of focusing on what you haven't. And it's a way of being able to um, look back through your journal when you finished it and remember what you managed to get done every month. Thank you guys for watching my video, I really do hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please do remember to subscribe, like, or leave a comment. Um, if you haven't already, I do actually update my Instagram more regularly than YouTube and a lot of my bullet journal spreads are on there. So if you do want to see the rest of my spreads, please do follow me on there as well. I hope that you guys stay safe, thank you for watching.